Painful chest surgeries are tough to take, especially with so much emphasis on the potential of opioid abuse. But there's a procedure becoming more and more accepted to get rid of the pain without a pill. Ursula Perry has firsthand experience with cryoblation and how it can ease the pain when you recover from surgery. Sebastian Diaz ran track and noticed his running performance deteriorating in the summer of 2017. So it was a lot of shortness of breath, um, which was and rapid heart rate. Um, just really feeling like I was kind of like trapped. Um, I couldn't like reach my full potential in that sport and stuff. His pectus excavatum or funnel chest finally needed to be fixed. Sebastian, how are you? Dr. Dan Osley wanted to use cryoablation before inserting a rod into his chest to push it out. He holds the probe that's minus 60 degrees Celsius against four layers of nerves for two minutes. Sebastian was patient number one here. And that causes the child to be numb across the front of their chest while the bar is in place initially and decreases the amount of pain they have associated with the repair. The numbness lasts for two months or more, meaning fewer painkillers for less time. We now have kids that are coming off of the pain medicine at less than two weeks, whereas before it was a month to get them off of the oxycodone. It does work. In fact, I had cryoablation at BAMC with trauma surgeons three and a half months ago as they were trying to set all these broken bones in my rib cage. As a result, the entire right side has been mostly numb for three months now. But those frozen nerves are now reconnecting on their own. The feeling is slowly returning. And while it does feel weird, I take that instead of the pain associated with an incredibly invasive chest wall surgery any day of the week. One note though, at this point, private insurance often is going to balk at paying for cryoablation. So if you want it, be prepared to wait for approval. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.